one of the things that I'm really interested in is how the XS10 or Fuji cameras are going to handle uh, stabilizing this 13 millimeter Viltrox. So today I've kind of devised a stabilization torture test and I want to compare it against the 16 2.8. And what I've done is, is I want to make one lap around the pool with it facing me, one lap around the pool holding it in my hand like this facing forward. Uh, I'm going to do a locked off shot, just like taking a video of something locked off. And I'm going to do a slow pan. And I think that's uh, kind of the basic four shots that anybody would ever use. Of course, there's more, but those are just kind of four basic shots. Um, and I think that would be a good representative of how the uh, Fuji is going to stabilize this particular lens. I'm going to be using the regular uh, image stabilization uh, with the camera that comes with the camera. I'm going to be using the regular image stabilization plus digital stabilization regular image stabilization plus digital plus boost and regular image stabilization plus boost minus the digital stabilization so hopefully between all those different tests we can come to some kind of conclusion of uh, what we think of the image stabilization and uh, what the image stabilization is going to do with this camera and this particular lens hope you've enjoyed this test and we'll talk about it on the other side so i'll go ahead and save these time and not show you any of the boost boost mode shots when i'm walking around the boost mode is primarily designed to uh, take really, really steady shots of locked off shots like you're, you know, you're sitting there filming something like this, not moving around at all. And it does a great job at that. But uh, if you're moving around trying to film stuff, boosting going to be the way to go. So I'll just save you the time and not even show you that. On to the test.
Okay, after reviewing the video, uh, the 13 millimeter Viltrox and the uh, Fuji XX10, you get a lot of waves in the corners. I mean, it's not an indictment on the lens. It's not an indictment on the camera. It's just the inherent nature of a super ultra wide angle lens and uh, shooting video with it, with anything with IBIS. So that's what you, you can expect when you're using uh, this lens and this camera. You're gonna get a lot of waves in the corner. Uh, even with the uh, just regular IBIS, with the IBIS and digital, you're just gonna get a lot of that wavy in the corner. So you can either you know, just embrace it and shoot it and just forget about it and use it the way it is, or you can look to a different lens. Personally, uh, just by looking at the test and you know what I've shot in the past, the 16 2.8 uh, to me is about the best vlogging lens or you know live shooting lens that you can get. Uh, the camera it's it's tight enough in where it cuts out some of the wobbles in the corners. And um, it's super, it's really light and easy to use. Just a, a lens that I really enjoy using while doing those type of shoots. So let me know what you think. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next one.